see crap I look pale whatever well hello YouTube it's your girl Johnny coming at you with another video and as you can tell by the title this video is going to be a quick get ready with me I'm gonna do a quick little makeup look but it's not even gonna be really a look it's probably gonna take me 10 minutes but I just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys really quickly <clears throat> and um, just let you guys know what's about to happen like how this stuff is about to work because my last video just gave you guys an update so this is kind of like an update kind of sort of but not really this is more like a schedule per se but if you guys like my hair it's just um, a braid out uh, I wore my hair in four braids all week for work so um, I just took them out and this is what my hair looks like I hope you guys like it if it's too wild and crazy I'm sorry but I like it <laughs> so um Without further ado, we're just gonna hop right into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on these ears to keep my hair out of my face. So I'm gonna look a little cray cray for a little bit, but then I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna fix it. And I'm drinking my tea. So to start off, this is basically like my like everyday makeup routine, but I don't wear makeup every day. So every day I wear makeup to work this is what I do the products that I use switch up but like the concept is the same so the base is the same you know what I'm saying the same concept I'm gonna be using different products just because um, I got some stuff on my boxy charm yesterday so I wanted to try those out and if it doesn't work then I have backups but I already moisturized my skin and I'm gonna prime using my Fenty Beauty um, no filter primer and this is what it looks like and um, I just squeeze some directly on my face. But as I do my, whoa. This isn't gonna be really a makeup tutorial. This is pretty much just like me putting on makeup. Uh, and I'll list the products down below. But this is just me talking to y'all and whatnot. If you haven't seen my update video, then go ahead and check that out. I will link that in the iCard and down below. Basically, in that video, I just told you guys what's been going on in my life, why I haven't been posting, because I've been getting a lot of questions about why I haven't been posting consistently and like how I've been doing YouTube for years and I'm still not where people think I should be because there's people who haven't been doing YouTube as long as me and they have a lot of followers. And um, honestly, to respond to those messages, because I can't respond to everyone, um, I have a full-time job and my full-time job is to be a service member right now and the mission comes first so some days I don't get home in time to do this and I'm not gonna I mean I guess people have different priorities or whatnot my priority is to, to do my job uh, to serve my country at the end of the day that's what it is and I'm not like the most patriotic person I'm not GI Jane or nothing like that but it's my job. That's what I got hired to do. I got hired to serve my country. So that's what I'm going to do. Does that make sense? When I was a civilian, when I went to school full time, I had plenty of time to do videos. I had plenty of time to do updates. I had plenty of time to do all of that. But now, you know, these past three years, I haven't. I've been working. I've been trying to do my job. I've been going to school and working. So it's like, you have to find a balance. It's really all about balance. And whenever I'm able to do a video, I do that. Or whenever I have the strength or the time, whenever I have the capability to actually do a video and make it look good and not look rushed or whatever, I do it. So, um, I just, honestly, I just want you guys to know that like, I'm not abandoning YouTube, I love YouTube, it's my hobby. It's really fun to do, but it's a lot of work. It's like a lot of man hours. And for me to be able to bring you guys content a few times a week, that's basically having another full-time job because you guys only see the, the finished product. You don't see what it takes to actually get to the finished product. So there's editing, there's lighting, there's equipment like there's so many things that you have to do and not everyone has a studio not everyone just sits down in front of a camera and already has it set up so I have to set up my equipment I have to take down my equipment I have to make sure it's in a safe place I have to make sure whenever I do pull it out my dog doesn't get it like I have to do all these things and I'm not making excuses whatsoever I actually I actually really do love 
YouTube. Like I really do love YouTube and I love making content. But right now, being active duty, it's not. It's like it's a it's a hobby that goes on the back burner. So not everyone is a full time YouTuber. Not everyone gets paid from YouTube. Like I like. No, not everyone gets free stuff from YouTube. So it's like people actually have to work and like pay their bills. You know, smaller YouTubers that don't have a lot of followers or a lot of views. So yeah, um, I am going to be more consistent with that. And it's going to be easier when I'm no longer active duty because I will have such a huge responsibility on my plate and I will be able to balance YouTube and my personal life. Also, I've noticed that since I posted my last video, I've been getting a lot of like messages about depression and like people's stories and stuff like that. And I truly appreciate you guys reaching out to me because that is a very, very, very sensitive topic. And for you guys to open up to me about your personal issues, it like really makes me feel like good because you trust me with that information and I meant everything that I said to, to you guys that hit me up and I mean it from the bottom of my heart if anyone's having any issues or if they just want to talk to someone they can talk to me and now am I going to give you good advice probably not because I'm not a psychiatrist I'm not a psychologist uh, this is I'm not a counselor this is not my field of expertise I'm just a friendly person who is willing to listen to someone then golly it takes forever for me to do my brows and also thank you guys for watching that video because um that video was really hard for me to make but thank you guys anyway for watching i want you guys to know that i'm here for you and that i'm always here like even if i'm not posting on instagram or youtube or whatnot like i'm always here and i actually really like this brow product so i got this brow products from my uh, boxy charm and I didn't even think that it would fit my eyebrow color but it does it looks really good actually it's kind of on the dark side but who cares I like a strong brow I like a strong brow with like nothing else on my face so my brows could look real nice but it's by Chella um, the brand Chella it's called the tantalizing taupe eyebrow cream I got this in my boxy charm if you guys want me to do like my boxy charm, like unboxings and trying on the products, I can do that because I just got this one and this one's pretty dope, pretty freaking dope. And to carve out my brows, I like to use a brow, um, a concealer that's like my shade or a smidge darker when I'm doing like more natural makeup because I don't like that super highlighted brow like how everyone else likes. I don't like that. I really don't. I really like to carve out my eyebrows because I don't like my eyebrows to look like perfect. I like it to look like natural, like as natural as possible. And when I say natural, I mean like you've been growing your eyebrows out for your whole life, natural. I'm not really into that like clean, precise like makeup. I'm not. I'm not really into that right now, especially since it's the summertime. I feel like the summertime is like more like fun and effortless and just like get up and go like I woke up like this I, that's how I feel about summer makeup fall winter makeup that's more structured you want it to be more you know I say more matte and that makes no sense to some people but to me the winter time it's like it's so dry like you don't want to look like you're sun-kissed in the winter because no one looks sun-kissed in the winter then they'll know that it's freaking makeup But yeah, so today I'm gonna go to run some errands to get some business casual clothes and I wanna get some um, some like baskets or containers to organize like my hair products because they're freaking everywhere. Like my hair products, it takes up the whole bottom part of our uh, uh, sink or whatever in the bathroom and it's so annoying. Like it's so freaking annoying. So I have to get something to fix that. And then um, we have like a little pantry thing in the bathroom, like cupboard thing um, where I put like my face products. I want to get something to organize that as well because it gets a little crazy. 
So what I'm doing now is I'm just literally putting concealer on, on my eyelid and all around like my eye area. And the reason why I do this is because one, it just kills two birds with one stone. And two, because like I can get that nice clean line under my brow and then um, I can just blend everything out. This concealer is uh, NC45 by MAC. It's the Studio Finish Concealer. And I like this concealer because it's like very skin-like and it blends out so effortlessly. It really does. But the only thing is that this shade is like orange. Like I don't know who in the hell they thought anybody was orange like this. Like no one is orange. No one. And if you're orange, it's because you have a fucking spray tan or something. So that makes me upset. NC45 is very, very orange, but it's the closest thing that I could find to even look right on my skin tone. So now that that's on my face, I like to use the SNARS concealer to brighten a little bit. And it, it's like a couple shades lighter than my skin tone, but when I'm not wearing foundation, it, it goes very well. And I just like to keep it in this area right here just to brighten up that area I really like this concealer sometimes I go OD but what is and also I have a mustache okay I'm letting y'all know now I have a mustache and I do uh, nair it I wax it I do whatever I can at that time pluck it whatever shave it whatever I gotta do so I put concealer that darker concealer on my top lip and I also put it on my chin just so it can kind of look more cohesive. But then I go back in with that lighter concealer and I uh, highlight my chin a little bit just so it can like balance out, balance it out because my skin tone, like I said, isn't orange, but this kind of works as like a color correct. And the brush I'm using is just a crown brush, well, a brush from Crown Brushes. Um, they're very, 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 very affordable. And I normally get them in my uh, BoxyCharm as well. So if y'all want to know more about BoxyCharm or if you haven't heard about them, I can talk to you guys about that because I love BoxyCharm. Like, absolutely love it. And I normally use a beauty blender to blend out my makeup. But when I'm doing like this faster makeup, uh, I don't. So basically when I do like my faster makeup, I use my concealer kind of as foundation but I definitely use it as concealer. I, all, I don't always conceal, but whenever I do have something on my face, uh, it's 99% of the time it's concealer. Um, foundation, I can do without. I don't need foundation. I think my skin is pretty okay without foundation. It's just the concealer, like that changes lives. Like I look woken up, like I look like I had I have been asleep my whole life. To set under my eyes, I like to go in with my Cody Airspun powder. One, because Laura Mercier is expensive and I'm not about to be using that every single time I do my makeup. So Cody Airspun is a good, cheaper alternative. The only thing I don't like about this product is that it smells like freaking grandma. It smells like a grandma and I don't like to smell like grandma. It's like grandma perfume. Like, picture your grandma's perfume. That's exactly what it smells like. So I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes. I'm just doing a tapping motion and I'm t uh, setting my eyelid as well. So it's just gonna mattify it some. I do it with a loose brush first and then I go on with a, a more denser brush after. If you don't have, <clears throat> if you have drier skin, I just recommend doing it with the, setting your face with a fluffier brush because it'll set your makeup in place but it won't mattify it too much. For me, I'm extra under my eyes and I have like deep set eyes so I have this little crevice here. So I like to really set under my eyes, especially right there by that crevice so it looks more smooth. So yeah, so now it kind of like disappeared. There's nothing else on this, pro uh, on this brush, I'm just wiping away extra product the extra powder and it also like sets my face at the same time like the whole face but that's done I'm going with some bronzer I'm gonna use uh, a luxie brush and it's gonna get like real precise and then I'm gonna lift it out with that same powder brush 
later on. But I start back here and I just go with circular motions upwards just to get a nice little bronze or whatnot. But yeah, y'all, so today is just going to be a lot of errand running. And then me and my friends are going to go to this little arcade. So it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Like, I haven't been, a, like, acting like a child recently. <laughs> so today is going to be the perfect day to act like a child. Yeah, I'm so excited for this arcade. It looks like it's going to be so much fun. So I can't wait to vlog about it. But to be honest, you guys, I really cannot wait. Cannot wait to move like i'm so excited to move i'm so excited for this new chapter in my life like i'm so excited and i'm so ready to just move forward like i'm so excited to move forward because i feel like you know i just i'm in a place where moving forward is a, a must right now and i just don't want to hinder myself anymore I am just excited like I'm really happy to be moving forward this was supposed to be real natural but it turned real not natural real fast <laughs> I'm gonna tone that down some because I got a little bit carried away but it's still not OD I already set my eyes and everything I don't put anything on my eyes except maybe sometimes I'll do bronzer Today, do I feel like doing bronzer? Yeah, I feel like I'll do a little bit. So I just take the same brush um, that I used to put my bronzer on and I'll just like lightly dust over my eye that bronzer shade. Literally, this is it. It's very easy and it's fast. Very fast. Then I'm gonna take a blush. When I don't wear a lot of makeup, I like to wear blush. It's like it's gonna be real pigmented. Alright y'all, so the color that I'm wearing on my lips is Persistent by Persistence by MAC. And I really, really like this. It's really pretty. It's like the perfect nude for me. It's like exactly what I want in a nude. And Alyssa Ashley came out with a lip gloss with e.l.f. It looks similar to this. So it's really pretty. I really like this lip. But this is pretty much what I do um, if I just want to look kind of like put together but like not have a full face of makeup on my face but really it feels really light um, I have my highlight that's pretty much like all I really like is like my highlight and like concealer but I did bronzer today because I'm gonna be outside out and about and I just want my skin to look nice and healthy and warm and yeah so I'm going to be running errands today and I'm gonna take you guys along with me I'm not sure if I'm gonna condense all of this into one video I should I probably might speed through all the makeup tutorial I'm not sure but it's not even a tutorial but just me putting on my makeup getting ready um, but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and go shopping really quickly so great <laughs> I will catch you guys in the car